Ken Trahan with Lenny Van Gilder. It's our first NBC Bank weekend review brought to you by First NBC Bank with 35 locations throughout the greater New Orleans area and beyond. That's First NBC Bank, proud sponsor of SportsNola.com. College baseball and a good showing for Louisiana teams. Tulane and Louisiana Tech each reaching the finals of their regionals but falling but still winning a couple of games each. And, of course, Southeastern Louisiana playing Monday in an elimination game after staying alive on Sunday with a victory. Meanwhile, LSU and Louisiana Lafayette sitting pretty in the winner's bracket and the catbird seats to advance to the Super Regional Round. Well, here, here's the thing to look at and just want to evaluate this college baseball season of Louisiana. And if Southeastern Louisiana could beat Rice on Monday afternoon, then all five teams from Louisiana will at least have reached the regional final. And that says a lot. We've said all along this was a good year for baseball in Louisiana. Then they had to go back it up when it came to postseason time. And, you know, for the most part it has. I know the, you know, Louisiana Tech folks have obviously got to be pleased with the run that they made, you know, knocking off Cal State Fulton, getting to the final. You know, Tulane, you you took care of, you know, knocking out Ole Miss, a dramatic game on Saturday. Got yourself back to the final, but really that opening game loss put you behind the eight ball trying to win four games in a row. It was just too much to overcome at the end. Obviously, as you mentioned, LSU and ULF, yet both sitting in the catbird seat. Uh, you know, LSU in a position to, to be at home again because of that number eight national seat. If they could take care of business uh, and finish off the regional, they could host a super regional. ULF yet already knows that if they win, they would go to Mississippi State next week. Yep, good job by Louisiana Tech. Uh, so obviously, it's been a good week for Louisiana baseball. We'll see where it carries them after today. Full coverage at sportsnola.com. The Saints and OTAs finishing up this week, mini camp next week, then a break until training camp. And of course, you can read about it at sportsnoah.com. Bottom line is, everyone's optimistic at this stage. You're hoping for good things. You're praying for good things. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, it's only so much you can see at this point. Um, but again, you, you, you have to be hopeful that some of the things that they're doing on the defensive side of the ball and some of the additions that they made on the offensive side of the ball you know, are going to translate into you know, something better. Some of the things that we've seen in the last week – you know, the, the national prognosticators out there are not very high on the Saints. It's that simple. Uh, you know, some, you know, Vegas saying they're going to be favored in four games this year. Somebody else is picking them to go 5-11. and 11. That's not optimistic. But you know what? That's the time when you're flying under radar like that that maybe you can, you know, jump up and, and do some things that are unexpected too. And yeah, we'll see how that pans out where the Saints are concerned, obviously, training camp to follow. So, We'll see what transpires. And then, of course, with regard to everything else that's going on right now, it's a pretty interesting time. NBA playoffs are in the finals, and so far, not much of a series. Not much of a series at all, and uh, maybe it'll get interesting when it gets back to uh, you know, to Cleveland here, but so far the Warriors have been the dominant team. Zephyrs, uh, of course, uh, winning a couple of games over the weekend. They've been dodging weather like everybody else here in South Louisiana. Yeah, it's crazy. You actually had uh, one pitcher who threw back-to-back -back complete games and neither one of them went six innings, so it's just the the way it worked out. You know, the rain, rain, couple of range shortened games in there. Uh, actually, we actually last week we had a what a, a range shortened tie, which there were there two, were actually two on the same day in the in the Pacific Coast League, as it were. So yeah, weather has been a factor. Obviously, it's played havoc with the college baseball tournaments in these parts, and the Zephyrs feeling it as well. And last but not least, the future of high school athletics in Louisiana once again on the line. It seems like we say that. Every year, if not more than once a year, this coming Wednesday, principals meeting in Baton Rouge to consider several different proposals. I don't know that anything's going to change. I hope it does. But uh, at this point, I wouldn't be too optimistic about it. The legislature's got other things to deal with right now uh, with the budget situation and the crunch that exists. So as a result, that's kind of been put to the back burner. And I thought that might have been the leverage necessary to push people into doing something, which I think initially it was. But now... I'm not sure how motivated people are. I guess we're going to find out. I guess we are. Here's my concern in this whole thing. You know, the, the School Relations Committee came up with a plan, and you had that out there in play, and then you now all of a sudden there's alternative plans out there. Well, I think it's like, uh, you know, I, I think you're watering down things too much. I think the somewhere and somehow you got to get behind one alternative plan and put that out there. If there's too many options for you to choose from, are you going to get a majority of anything? Because let's face it, if you know, if I like Plan A, 
and you like plan B and uh, Adam Bryant likes plan C out there, then I'm going to I'm going to vote for plan A and against the others. You're going to vote for plan B and against the others. He's going to vote for plan C and against the others. What does that mean? That a majority may not approve of one particular plan. I, it'd be interesting to see what happens behind the scenes leading into Wednesday to see if a consensus can be built. And really, that rests in my mind on Eddie Bonine. He needs to be working that to see what can get done. And let's hope it does, because I think whatever gets done, if they, one of these plans passes, it's for the better of the organization. Stay tuned. We'll find out soon. That's our first NBC Bank weekend review brought to you by First NBC Bank with 35 locations throughout southeast Louisiana and into the Florida panhandle. That's First NBC Bank, proud sponsor of SportsNOAA.com. He's Lenny. I'm Kenny. Have a great week, and God bless.